Welcome back. It's another Springfield's Best Day where we get to connect with the best businesses around. And today's Springfield's Best members are Anna Brown and Gabe Brown from Fragile Protection Inc. Good to see you guys. Hi, Good thanks for having us. By again. the way, full disclosure, both last names Brown, not related. Few Browns out there, but just we're a couple. Not. Yeah, just a few. A couple. Just a few. Yeah. Just a couple. <laughs> so, um, first of all, it's great to see you guys. And we love that you're a part of Springfield's Best. So, Gabe, let's just start with you really quickly. Yeah. Tell us about your involvement with Springfield's Best and why it's such a great organization to be associated with. So my, my, I, me, myself, I've been involved in the group for about 15 years now. Um, Federal Protection, our company, has been one of the founding members of the group. Um, as far as enjoyment of the group, um, it's just great to be able to have those other business partners that are from all different walks um, to be able to trade ideas with or bounce ideas off of um, and get some of um, their best practices um, and obviously trade leads and referrals too. Mm -hmm. That's helpful as well. Um, but as far as the group itself, it's just a good makeup of individuals led by Tammy, who's mm -hmm. a ray of sunshine for yes. sure. And she makes it really easy to, to kind of collaborate with all those people in the group. Yeah, and by the way guys too, just to let you know too, if you're thinking you, you don't fit the criteria, there's no, you have to be Springfield's best, they're always taking new members and they take one of each field. So if you're watching and you wanna be a part of it, you we can We would welcome be, it, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, I know a lot of businesses might be watching or thinking, oh, should I do that? Absolutely you should. Go to the website, fill out the form, you could be one of Springfield's best and it's such a great organization. So you could fit the bill is what I'm saying, so you should try it. Please do, <laughs> please do, yes, yeah. And Gabe, over the past 15 years and your involvement with Springfield's Best, what's been the, the biggest change or you know, progression that you've seen? So obviously the area's grown a lot. Mm -hmm. So when we started you know, way back when, or even as Springfield Best, when they first started, you know, it's just um, Springfield was a smaller community. Mm -hmm. The surrounding areas were obviously smaller. So it's grown a lot. So it's really, as far as a change, it's benefited going back to being able to bounce ideas off some of those other members that have went through whatever trials or issues they may face mm -hmm. in business. Um, it's been a huge benefit in that regard. Um, more recently, you know, you, you think about COVID and some of those changes mm -hmm. to be able to stay connected with other folks. Mm -hmm. um, um, has been a big, big help um, just for our, or our organization as well. Um, as far as the, the group itself, um, dynamics are still the same um, with that. I mean, it's still a great group of people. Um, but yeah, that, that seems to be some of the biggest uh, changes I guess I've seen through, yeah. through that time span. Well, it is, it is a great group. And Anna, we want to get to you because you do something that we were talking about. Tell the people your, your role at Federal Protection and what you do. Yeah, so I work in the Federal Response Center and we are actually the alarm monitoring portion of the security alarms. So our customers that have alarms going off, my team um, is one of those first people, or is the first person calling them to check in on them, see if everything's okay. We're also the relaying um, party to the police department in certain situations. Situations. Um, we're immediately dispatching the police when customers need that response as well. That's so stressful. That's, I was just saying, it can that sounds, be. <laughs> it sounds exhilarating, terrifying, and just like yeah. all sorts of emotions. Yes, it can be. It's a mix. Sometimes it's not not a big deal, but other times it is a little bit more stressful, and we're just trying to keep our customers as safe as possible. And speaking of your customers, I bet it's very comforting to know as the customer that if something should happen, you're there. Yes. A real life person, yeah. ready to help them notify the police and talk them through it. Do you have to usually, if somebody's calling and they're in a panic, mm -hmm. you know, it's almost a dual counselor role because you're also trying to calm them, get things happening. What, what is it like when somebody calls? Um, yeah, so we're just, like you said, we're trying to keep them calm and we work as a team. So one person may be responsible for speaking directly to that customer, keeping them calm, talking them through that situation. And our other team members are working on dispatching the police so that we're not leaving the customer hanging um, in a terrifying situation, but we are still getting them the help when they need it. Wow. Now, say someone does get a new alarm system in their home and before anything tragic or crazy happens and they don't have that adrenaline going, could they call your team and just be like, "This, I just want to know for my own knowledge if I call you like what can I expect to hear from you guys what can I be expect to be asked and say and all that stuff good yeah question. absolutely that's a very really good question so my job title in the response center is actually customer care coordinator okay and that is specifically what my team will do um, we like to reach out to the customers collaborating with the sales team um, before their systems are activated we're having those conversations oh. this is how we respond to each alarm notification that your panel generates and we work with them to customize that mm -hmm. um, a lot of companies are large enough that they're gonna have kind of an out-of-the-box response this is what we do this is how we do it but one thing that sets federal apart is that we offer custom alarm response plans for our customers it's gonna be different for everybody so we want to work with that yeah cuz I bet though in that moment you know like you said the adrenaline and at least you can know what to expect if yes. there's like tell me your address is there a pin code if there's some kind of right. safe word that you know okay I'm talking to this person and we know what we're doing and we can get somebody safe there what's the next step afterwards so let's say they've called you 
they've had that breach. Do you have to come back out and reinspect? Do you have to go back out to the property? What's the next step for the customer? In some cases, it's a, probably a case by case, depending if damage was done or anything like that. Um, but as far as the alarm tripping and calling and doing its job, we don't have to go back out necessarily if nothing's wrong. It can all be a lot of the the, the beauty of a lot of it can be done remotely. So if there are any issues, we can do a lot of remote. Um, you know, access to be able to correct whatever issue there might be, if there is an issue, that is. Okay, I just thought of something, Maddie, though. Because I'm thinking about me and Maddie. And thinking about how we are. <laughs> and how and how you are in the middle of the night. I'm a scaredy cat. <laughs> what if we accidentally trigger our alarm? It's gonna happen. Because that's gonna happen. That, yes, okay. Not just Let's be honest. Guys, everybody. Everyone, it does happen. It happens what happens in that situation? It's, it's, We're calling still. Yep. You're still yep. calling? Yeah, okay. we, we still call. Um, there have been situations where that's frustrating for the customer because they'll say, it was an accident, I shut it off, everything's fine. But we want to make sure that we are just mm -hmm. checking in with them to confirm that everything's okay, that they are safe, because there could be situations where they're telling us that they're okay, and that's not necessarily the case. And one thing, too, to, to point out, too, is if you have an alarm with it through us or anybody else, it's a good idea to test those things. So mm -hmm. all you have to do is call that, that central station, the company that would be monitoring your alarm system, and let them know you're going to test it, and then trip a device. Um, it's kind of dual purpose, obviously, to make sure it works, but also to test the response time. How quick oh, are they going to yeah. call you when that device is tripped? That's a good idea. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We encourage advice. our customers to do that as well. That's one thing that we pride ourselves on is that we have a quick response. Um, and one really cool thing with the Federal Response Center is we never outsource our calls. When you call the response center or when the response center is calling you, that's always coming from an employee working in our Springfield office. Mm -hmm. It's never going to be someone in a different state, a different country, anything like that. It's always That's peace of mind center. right there. Yes. Yep. Guys, Thank neighbor. you so much. Thank you. Great to see you guys. You, too. Oh, you guys too. Oh, yes. That's amazing. All right. All right, another Springfield's best day. Thank you so much. You guys will be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. That is so good. It's so rare that you have somebody local.